Hello grade 9, this is Sir Jeff and welcome to Mathe Class. I am here to help you answer your module. So the topic that we are going to discuss this morning is the elements of the medieval, renaissance, and baroque music. So the history of Western classical music is time divided from medieval to contemporary period. In this lesson, we will describe the musical elements of the selected vocal and instrumental music of the medieval, renaissance, and the baroque period. So this lesson is divided into three lessons, namely the medieval music, the renaissance music, and the baroque music. For our objectives for this day, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to, number one, Describe the musical elements of selected vocal and instrumental music of the medieval, renaissance, and baroque period. Number two, identify the characteristic music by period. And number three, show appreciation on the music of the early western period through composing music. So before we go on discussing the topic, let us have first a pretest. In this part, let's see your prior knowledge with the topic before we proceed. So you are just going to choose the letter of the correct or the best answer. Number one, the Gregorian chant is written in blank liturgy. A. Latin B. French C. English D. Italian Number two, the period in music work is mainly monophonic. A. Medieval B. Renaissance, C. Baroque, or D. Romantic. Number three, Gregorian chants were written in blank notation. Is it A. Circan, B. Oblong, C. Triangle, or D. Square? Number four, a text is syllabic if blank. A. One note is set to each syllable. B. A few notes are set to one syllable. C. Many notes are set to one syllable. And letter D. The note is not sung. Number five. Melodies during this period is elaborate and ornamental. A. Medieval. B. Renaissance. C. Baroque. And D. Romantic. Good job! Let us check on the table the characteristic of the music according to its period. So look at the table on your screen. You are just going to check if the statement is from medieval, from renaissance, or baroque music. Number one, imitation among the voices. Is it from medieval, renaissance, or baroque? Number two, melodies are not easy to sing. Medieval, Renaissance, or Baroque. Number three, use of church modes. Number four, use of word painting. And number five, tells of chivalry and courtly love. Is it from Medieval, Renaissance, or Baroque? So now, on the next set of table, you are also going to check the music genre according to its period. Again, Check the appropriate period of the music. Number one, plain chant. Is it from medieval, renaissance, or baroque? Number two, fugue, madrigal, concerto, and mass. Great, you have done well. You are now ready for the discussion. So for our learning task, Take a look at the word search box below. Search and encircle the six elements of music from the word search box. So this is the word search box. You are just going to find the six elements of music that you can find in this word box. Great job, grade 9. Very good. Now let us define each element by matching the definitions in column A with the elements or the words in column B. So number one, the movement of musical tones with respect to time. So what element of music is this? 
Look at the word in column B. Number two, the softness and loudness of music. Number three, the combination of tones played together with one melody. And next, the succession of pitches. Number five, the relationship of various notes in a musical composition. And number six, the musical structure of a composition. So at this time, we are going to describe the elements of music by period from medieval, renaissance, and baroque period. So let us start with the medieval period from 700 to 1400. So the sacred music of the medieval period or the Gregorian chant. Are you familiar with Gregorian chant? So these are the following characteristics of Gregorian chant. Number one, it is monophonic. Meaning, there is only one melody sung by male monks. Yes, you heard it right. They are their scene in Gregorian chant, the only singer is a monk. And next, no accompaniment is used, purely vocal. So no instrument used in Gregorian chant purely vocal or only words. Number two characteristic of Gregorian chant is free meter. When we say free meter, the Latin text determines how long each note should be sustained. And it is irregular meter, meaning there is no distinct beat or pulse you can hear in Gregorian chant. The third characteristic is modal. The church mode was the existing scale used. We have the Ionian, Dorian, Pyrrhidian, Lydian, Mexulidian, Aeolian, and Locrian. The Locrian is not used in the liturgy as it was called in the mode of the devil. The fourth characteristic of Gregorian chant is usually based in Latin liturgy. So Latin is used in the text since music is widely used in the sacred liturgy. So ecclesiastical Latin is the universal language of the Roman Catholic Church. And number five, it uses a neo notation. When we say neo notation, meaning square notes. So, as you can see on the screen, this is an example of a Gregorian chant written in neo notation. Look how beautiful the notation of this a Gregorian chant example of this example of Gregorian chant. So after the Gregorian chant, let us now go to the secular music of the medieval period or what we call the troubadours music. During the latter part of the medieval period, secular music which was not bound by Catholic traditions emerged. So uh, medieval period was divided into two main parts, the Gregorian chant which is the church music and the uh, troubadours music, which is the secular music. So most of these songs were performed across Europe by groups of musicians called the troubadours. So the characteristic of troubadours, number one, usually monophonic. So again, it's only usually monophonic. So not all are monophonic. When you say monophonic, single melody and no harmony at all. There is one melody only. Number two, sometimes with improvised accompaniment. So sometimes they are using some pipe, uh, psaltery, lyre, shawn, sakba, harp, or tabor. Next, it tells about chivalry and courtly love. So somehow in our modern age, the troubadour music is a love song. One example of this is the story of Robin Hood. So next characteristic is it is originated in France. And the last, it is written in French language. So after the medieval period, let us now go to the Renaissance period from 1400 to 1600. The characteristic of Renaissance period are, number one, mostly polyphonic, meaning to say two or more melody. Number two, characteristic of Renaissance music is the imitation among the voices. It is very common in Renaissance period. Each voice uses the same melodic ideas but started 
at the different times. So, they are using one specific melody, but they are starting in different times. Number three, use of words, painting, in text, and music. So, example, if the text says climbing a mountain, the pitch rises. So, if the text says hell, pitches goes down. When we say word painting, it has something to do with the lyrics of the song. They are literally recognizing what was the lyrics all about, as what I have told you earlier. The next characteristic of Renaissance period is the melodic lines move in a flowing manner. And last, the melodies are easier to perform because this move along has came with a few large lips. So let us now go to the sacred music of the Renaissance period or the Mass. Yes, you heard it right, the Mass. I know everyone of you is very familiar with it. Because when we say Mass, literally means going to church or the church's music. So the characteristic of the Mass, number one, it is polyphonic, using many melodies. Number two, maybe some a cappella or with orchestral accompaniment. You can sing it without instruments or you can sing it with accompaniment, orchestral accompaniment. And number three, text may be syllabic. When we say syllabic, one note set to each syllable. So each syllable has different note, like for example, Where are you going today? Are you going today? See? Each, as each syllable has different notes. So next is the pneumatic. When we say pneumatic, a few notes set to one syllable. And number three is melismatic. Melismatic, many notes to one syllable. So let us now go on to the five section of the Mass. Are you familiar with the five section of the Mass? If you are always attending Masses, especially in Roman Catholic churches, I know this is not new to you because you are already hearing some example of this section of Masses. The first section of Masses is the Kyrie, or in English Mass, it is called Lord of Mercy. Or in Tagalog, we sing, Panginoon maawa ka. Panginoon, maawa ka. Number two, the second part or the section of the Mass is the Gloria, or in English, Glory to God in the Highest. In Church Mass, we always see, Luwal hati sa Diyos sa kaitaasan, kaloob sa lupa ay kapayapaan. Next is the Credo, or the Creed, or in English, the Nicene Creed. And the next is the Sanctus et Benedictus, or the Holy, Holy, or the Blessed is He in English translation. Banal, banal, banal. And the last is the Agnus Dei. Agnus Dei, or the Agnus Dei, they said. Or, in English translation, it is the Lamb of God. In our Mass, we always see, Cordero ng Diyos na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan sa mundo. So in your module, I have right there examples of each section in Mass in Bicol. You can search it on YouTube and try to listen to the example of the different section of Masses. So commonly, those times in the Renaissance period, the five sections of Masses were written in Latin except the Kyrie because Kyrie is written only in Greek. So after the church music, let us now go to the secular music of the Renaissance period or the Madrigal. Are you familiar with the Madrigal siblings? How about the Madrigal singers of the University of Santo Tomas? If you have heard them sing, then you can easily identify the characteristic of madrigals. So the characteristic of the madrigals are, number one, it is polyphonic. Number two, sung in a cappella, meaning no accompaniment. Number three, through composed, 
And number four, frequently in three to six voices. Yes, you heard it right. They are using different voices. So after the Renaissance period, we are now going to focus on the Baroque period from 1685 to 1750. So some of the characteristics of Baroque period includes number one, the melodies sound elaborate and ornamental. When you see ornamental, there are so many designs, right? Number two, melodies are not easy to sing or remember because it is ornamental. Number three, primarily contrapuntal textures with some homophony. Number four, the dynamic contrast or the alternation between loud and soft. And number five, the music genres include operas, oratories, suites, toccatas, concerto grosso, and huge. So let us define those terms. When we say concerto, a form of orchestral music that employs a solo instrument accompanied by an orchestra. So when we say concerto, there is only one main instrumental music, but it is accompanied by orchestral music. In modern times, when we say there is a concert, a musical concert, as you can see, there is only one singer, but she is accompanied by, by different musical instrumentalists. The next word is the concerto grosso. It is a form of orchestral music during the Baroque period wherein the music is between a small group of solo instruments called concertino and the whole orchestra called tutti. So meaning there is a small group of solo instruments. When we say solo instruments, what are the solo instruments? Like violin and piano. So these are an example of solo instruments. So these are a group of solo instruments accompanied by orchestra or the call tutti. The third word is the fugue, a contrapuntal piece or developed mainly by imitative counterpoint. It is usually written in three or four parts with the main theme called the subject. The entire piece grows mainly from a single brief tune of strong musical character. And next is the oratorio. Are you familiar with oratorio? Oratorio is a large scale, scale is a large scale musical composition for orchestra and voices that incorporates narrative of religious themes. So they are telling stories. Unlike the usual theatrical works, this is usually performed without the use of costumes, sceneries, or actions. It is usually written in the native language of the intended audience. Like for example, if the audience is Latin, then they are going to perform Latin. If the audience is French, then they are going to perform French. And so oratorio is a music telling a story. One of the famous uh, example of this is the Handel's Messiah. Are you familiar with Handel's Messiah? I know you are, but it just happened that you don't know the title. Because it is already used in some of a Philippine commercial like Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. So that is the Messiah of George Frederick Handel. Next example is Samson, also written by Handel. Israel and Egypt. So from the title itself, you will easily identify that it has something to do with the religious story. Some famous oratorio also is Johann Sebastian Bach Christmas Oratorio and Hayden's The Creation. Next word is the chorale. Chorale or choral is a musical composition that resembles a harmonized version of hymnal tunes of the Protestant Church during the Baroque era. Yes, commonly uh, choral, uh, choral singing or choral composition are used that time by the Protestant Church. And number six characteristic of the Baroque music is Orchestra consists of strings and continuum. Next, the harpsichord and organ are the keyboard instruments that are commonly used. So they are commonly using harpsichord and organ. And of course, the form of uh, Baroque period, they are using new form. Number one is the binary. The next is the ternary. From the word itself, so there are three parts. The A, 
being seen. And the ground base, and last is the fierge. So that ends our discussion. But of course, we have an activity. You are just going to fill in the blank. Number one, the music of the early periods were divided into two, the blank and the secular music. So what is that? The sacred music of the medieval period was the blanc, while sacred music of the Renaissance was the blanc. The secular music of the medieval was the music of the troubadours, while the Renaissance was madrigal. Number two, the evolution of the texture of the medieval, Renaissance, and Baroque period started from the simple monophonic or the single melody of the chants of polyphonic of the Renaissance to highly polyphonic and contrapuntal with some blanc, respectively, of the many voices of the vocal music and additional instruments formed. And number three, last number, blanc, notation for music, notation was first used, then developed to a modern music notation today. So let us check your comprehension. Let us analyze by filling the blanks with the correct answer. Choose from the group of words inside the parenthesis. Write your answer on the blank. Number one, Gregorian chant is to Latin. Music of the troubadours is to Latin, French, or English. What is your answer? Number two, Gregorian chant is to blank. Purely vocal, purely instrumental. And music of the troubadours is to sometimes with improvised accompaniment. Number three, Gregorian chant is to sacred. Music of the troubadours is to blank, sacred, secular, or both. Number four, Gregorian chant is to God. Music of the troubadours is to God, love and chivalry or protest. Number five, medieval texture is to monophonic, Renaissance texture is to blank, monophonic, polyphonic, homophonic. Number six, mass is to blank, sacred, secular, or both. Madrigal is to secular. Kyrie is to Greek, Gloria is to blank, Greek, Latin, or French. Number eight, Credo is to Blanc, Lord of Mercy, Nicene Creed, Lamb of God. Agnes Dei, or Agnes Dei, is to Lamb of God. Number nine, Medieval period. Medieval is to music of the troubadours. Renaissance is to Blanc, Mass, Madrigal, Fuge, or Fugue. Number ten, Gregorian chant is to Vocal, Fugue is to Blanc. Vocal, instrumental, or both. So next activity, you are just going to choose the best answer. Just encircle the letter of the correct answer. Number one, musical instrument commonly used during the Baroque period. What is it? A. Organ and harp. B. Organ and harpsichord. C. Piano and violin. Or D. Harpsichord and piano. Number two. Which church modes was not because it was named as the mode of the debit? A. Ionian B. Ferrigian C. Lydian D. Locrian Number 3. This music is originated in France. A. Madrigal B. Music of the Troubadours C. Mass or D. Choral Number 4. A piece of music with two or more melodic lines. A. Contrapuntal B. Homophony C. Harpsichord or D. Organ Number 5. A large-scale music composition for orchestra and voices that incorporates narrative or religious themes. A. Oratorio B. Concerto C. Concerto Grosso or D. Chora So for your additional activities, you are just going to list down the gains or what you have learned or what we get from the three periods in the development of our present music today. So how does medieval, 
Renaissance and Baroque helped the music of today develop? Just write your answer on the box given. I am very happy you have stayed long with me as I discuss this topic. I hope you have learned so many things from this video lesson. Thank you very much. I see you again on my next topic class. Goodbye!